Grab yourself a big old soda from Paunch Burger and set up the Cones of Dunshire, because I've got 11 questions for you on all your friends from Pawnee and Parks and Recreation. Remember, it's all about the cones. This is Trivia with Buds. Hi guys, Parks and Rec Trivia. Here comes question number one. What is Jerry's last name on the show? Question number one, what is Jerry's last name on the show? Question number one. Question number two, besides councilman, what is Jeremy Jam's profession? Question number two, besides councilman, what is Jeremy Jam's profession? Number two. Question number three, how many ounces is the child size soda offered at Paunch Burger? Is it 64 ounces, 128 ounces, or 512 ounces? Number three, how big is the child size soda from Paunch Burger? 64, 128, or 512 ounces? Question number four, Mouse Rat had a song about Little Sebastian that parodies an Elton John song title. What is that song title? We're looking for the one from the show. What is the Mouse Rat song title? Number four, Mouse Rat has a song called Lil, uh, about Little Sebastian that parodies an Elton John song title. What is it called? Question number five, what is the name of the giant candy corporation in Pawnee? What is the name of the candy corporation in Pawnee? Number five. Question number six, what is John Ralphio's sister's name? What is John Ralphio's sister's name? Number six, number six for Parks and Rec Trivia. What is John Ralphio's sister's name? Number six. Question number seven, what is the name of Tom's clothing rental store? Number seven, what is the name of Tom's clothing rental store? Number seven. Question number eight, when Anne hosts a Halloween party, what doll is she dressed at for her costume? Number eight, when Anne hosts a Halloween party, what doll is she dressed up as? Question number nine, what word does Chris love to say to embellish how excited he gets? What is Chris's favorite word? Number nine. Parks and Rec, number 10. At a point in the series, Leslie dates a cop played by what comedian? What comedian plays a cop on the series? And for two points, how many total episodes were there of Parks and Rec? What was the total episode count for Parks and Recreation? Those are all 11 questions about your friends from Pawnee, Indiana. We'll be right back in just a second with the Parks and Rec answers. We are back with the answers to Parks and Rec trivia. Let's see how you did on this generally kind of easy round if you watch quite a bit of the show. If you've seen it more than once, you probably knew most of these. Number one, what is Jerry's last name on the show? The answer there is Gergich, Jerry Gergich, again played by Jim O'Hare. Go check out my interview with Jim at Trivia with Buds on YouTube. Number two, besides Councilman, what is Jeremy Jam's job in Pawnee? He is an orthodontist. That is his profession, an orthodontist. Number three, how many ounces is the child size soda Paunch Burger offers? 64, 128, or 512 ounces? It is the latter. 512 12 ounces enough to uh, the weight of a liquefied child, I think they say, because it's a child size, something like that. Number four, Mouse Rat has a song about Lil Sebastian that parodies an Elton John song title. What is their song called? 5,000 Candles in the Wind. So instead of just a candle in the wind, it's 5,000 candles in the wind. Number five, what's the name of the giant candy corporation in Pawnee that is Sweetums? Number five, Sweetums. Number six, what is John Ralphio's sister's name? Mona Lisa Saperstein. Number six, Mona Lisa. Number seven, what's the name of Tom's clothing rental store? Rent a swag, which I think is a great idea for a store. I would go rent stuff like that if they were uh, around. Number eight, when Ann hosts a Halloween party, what doll is she dressed at? Raggedy Ann. That makes sense, right? That's her name. 
Number nine, what word does Chris love to say to embellish how excited he gets? Literally. Literally. Number nine, literally. And number 10, at a point in the series, Leslie dates a cop played by what comedian? Louis C.K. Louis C.K. And the bonus for two points, how many total episodes were there of the show? 125. 125. Five. So there you have it, guys. 11 questions, 11 answers, Parks and Rec. If you want some fun facts about me and Parks and Rec, I got to be on the episode where Ben and Leslie get married. It's a two-part episode, so if you want to go watch that on Netflix, look for me in the scene where Leslie is addressing all of her friends on stage. I think it's right at the, the, right at the end of the first part uh, the first episode. So the first half hour, uh, she's on stage thanking everyone for coming and stuff like that. And then I think they decide to have their wedding. So it's right before that or right after that. And she's on stage and they cut to the crowd on the dance floor and it's the entire cast and me. And there's not too many other people around that you can see their faces. So you could probably see me pretty easily in there. And, uh, it's pretty cool. Jim actually got the entire cast to sign that picture for me. So I freeze framed it, sent it to him and I have a framed, a uh, signed picture from the entire cast of me and all of them on this show. So it was very cool, and I'm very fortunate that I got to do that when I first moved to L.A. I think that was 2013 or so. So a little fun fact about me and the show. If you guys want more Parks and Rec trivia, I just did a live stream the other night. It is available on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash RyanBuds. It's a two-hour show, five different Parks and Rec rounds, other than the questions you just answered for today's episode. So go check that out if you want some more Pawnee action. Thank you guys for listening. We have one more question for you. It's the question of the day, and it is, what is Bruce Wayne's dad's name? Tweet me your answer at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was a key for the last uh, edible item in Pac-Man that's not a fruit, and your trivia team name of the day is Pawnee to the Gut. Pawnee to the Gut. Thank you guys for listening. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you tomorrow for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers.